Hey everyone, my name's Drew and we are here. This is going to be week four of our UBL matches. Coming off of a couple of pretty unfortunate losses, some pretty bad luck, but we are here. We are up against the Bullet Punch Club Uzi Gunners team and it's going to be taken over this week by Leo Six Foot Hacks, who's a part of our streak of unfortunate matches with that Hydro Pump miss in the PGBL, but we'll see if our luck is any different this time. All right, here we go. I'm super excited to see what he's bringing here. This is going to be wild. He actually has a few ones uh, that are very familiar from our last encounter in the PGBL, but this is going to be nothing like that match. Okay, we see the Decidueye, which honestly is horrible in this matchup for me. Decidueye, Clef Key, Uxy, Weavile, Needle Queen, and Infernape. Okay. So, Greninja can do things here, right? Greninja is scarfed. Uh, scar it's scarfed enough to, to outspeed a plus one Zygarde 10%. Um, huh. Okay. This is a Meloetta Pirouette form. Now, I don't think it's going to be... I don't think there's anything really pressing that it has to take on. So I don't mind just, like, leading with it, trying to do some damage. This is a Cursed Venusaur as well. Um, so probably shouldn't go in with that too quickly. But the Delphox is a bit of a physical wall. It's not going to get in too much work in this one. I mean, I kind of just want to lead Tauros here, right? Yeah, Tauros doesn't have any particular role. It's just kind of here to deal damage. And I definitely don't mind just letting it try and deal damage here. Um, if the Uxie leads, then we always have Serena uh, at some point. But yeah, that Zygarde not being there kind of frees up Serena a bit to not have to be that dedicated to wall. But here we go. Oh, all of my nicknames are uh, Black Panther themed. But yeah, no. That's perfectly fine. He can bring in the Uxie. That would be totally fine. But um, I also couldn't get Thunder Wave, which would be not great. But also, not the worst thing in the world, I don't think. Uh, so let's see here. The Tauros is in here against this Uxie. I mean, honestly, he could just go into Decidueye as well. The Decidueye would make a whole bunch of sense. I could Fire Blast expecting the, the Uxie. Okay, so this is a Naughty Nature Tauros. Sheer Force Life Orb, of course, with Fire Blast. So, Body Slam would be doing... Oh, this is a Cliff Key. Um, I... I could definitely just see the Decidueye coming in here. And I really want a Fire Blast. I think I'm gonna, because Fire Blast, yeah, Fire Blast is doing a decent amount either way. Earthquake threatens a KO, potentially, though. Like, right off the bat. But also, Fire Blast is still doing about half. Oh, this is a tough one. This is a real, real tough one. I kind of feel like he Thunder Waves me here. I'm gonna Earthquake. If he switches out into Decidueye, then, yeah, there's a Thunder Wave, okay. I still think this is worth it. I still think this is super worth it to um, not have to worry about this Klefki as much. Um, I mean, realistically, it could be setting up spikes, screens. Oh, this is reasonably defensive. Okay. What would you do now? What would you do now? I feel like, if anything, now you would go into Decidueye. But, yeah, just setting up the spikes. Okay, so yeah, no, this is this is perfectly fine. Please don't get fully paired. Please, please do not get fully paired. Okay. Okay, there's the full para. I was so, I was super willing to make this trade off, but, uh... Apparently not. Apparently not. I think it just gets a, a second layer here. Um, I don't think he values his cleft key that much against my team. It would really suck if he tries to set up screens right now, but realistically would have already set up a reflect if he was going to. So probably not likely. I think more than anything, oh, it just goes for damage. That's interesting. I think more than anything, oh, come on. 
This is happening all over again, dude. <laughs> this was exactly what was happening uh, in last week's match. Just all over again. This for the withdrawals. This is the, the Sejuani. I know the Uxie. Okay. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. As I get fully paired again, it didn't matter. But dude, that's three times in a row. He was giving me his clef key. He was giving me his clef key. Oh, man. What's the switch into this, dude? Probably just... Probably just Greninja. Greninja... Dark Pulse Spam... Takes on his team, really. Unless the Klefki comes in. Which, honestly, kind of makes me want to go for Surf in this situation, but I won't. Um... I also have the Delphox, but I kind of want the Delphox to be like a dedicated Infernape situation. Yeah, I'm just going to go into my uh, Greninja here. It pulls the double into the Decidueye. So, I mean, not the worst for me, just super not great. I am curious to see how much uh, I would theoretically do. I mean, for all I know, this could be Assault Vested. Let me see. Greninja up against Sejuai. What did he expect to come in? What did he expect to come in? Dark Pulse is doing a lot. But is Leaf Blade taking me out? Probably does. Yeah, Leaf Blade super threatens to take me out. So he expected that. I'm gonna go out into the Serena here. I don't know what this thing's gonna try to do. If it just goes for the Leaf Blade, then that would be super unfortunate. It could just U-turn here. Oh, the triple, this triple switch. Back into the Klefki. The triple switch back into the Klefki. What does that mean? I kind of just want to deal with what's in front of me here. I could have just Dark Pulse there. That's unfortunate. It does some damage to the Clef Key. Even though, like, I get it, it's resisted, but, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't even have been dead to AKO. I would have had to have surfed. Which, realistically, I'm not that real. Now, what is a power of doing the situation? Power Whip looks... Uh, no, I've, I kind of want a double switch, but he gets a free pair on anything, which is not good. Is it too early to go into my Venusaur and start cursing? It is. Realistically, it is. But I don't want anything getting paralyzed here. So, alright, I, I have the synthesis. I'm just gonna, okay, withdraws. Interesting. I have no idea what's happening right now. Need a queen. It's totally fine. I'm just gonna try to get some damage. If this does over half... Oof. I'm kinda tempted to just do that again. But that's a super roll right now. And this is a kind of a dedicated, like, physical wall. It has a lot of defensive investment. But realistically, what does that do? It walls the Decidueye, but so does Venusaur. But then Venusaur can't do much in return. Hmm. I really need to get rid of the Clef Key. Now this is interesting, right? Because I could go into the 
that could go into the Meloetta, eat up a special hit while it's still in its normal form, and then Relic Song into Pair Wet form, and then start doing some damage. But it still seems too early for that when I can get Thunder Waves that easily. I'm just gonna power up. I could be taking Sludge Wave. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I could be taking a huge, huge Sludge Bomb here, but I think we take it. Okay, we just barely take it. And hopefully we can get this KO here. Not even close. Yikes, okay. Not even close. And now I'm not going to have an opportunity to rapid spin against anything here. Do I outspeed anything at this point? I don't think so. No, I don't outspeed anything anymore, so... Really no opportunity to rapid spin anymore. This is not great. If only Tauros could, like, do something for me. Hmm. The only question is, do I give up the Serena to get a free switch, or do I try to hard switch now? My thinking is... My thinking is... Let it go down. But I'm still not sure about that. I'm still not sure about that. Also, I guess theoretically can be scarfed. I was, I was thinking of going into the, uh, in, in, into the Delphox here, but this could theoretically be scarfed, which would be not great. Man, this arena is not going to be doing anything. It's not even going to outspeed the Uke, see? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to let this thing go down. We'll attempt... I, I'm, I misclicked. I clicked Synthesis. Doesn't matter. I meant to click Rapid Spin. I clicked Synthesis instead. Doesn't matter realistically. Uh, now, I wonder, does that let me go into... No, it doesn't. Okay. I can't really go into Venusaur yet. If I Relic Song and I switch out, do, do I have to Relic Song again when I switch back in? Wow, I really don't know that. That's a, that's a weird question that I never thought I'd have to know. But it's fine. I think I think um, this is a solid enough uh, revenge killer here. Unless this thing's scarfed, but either way, we can take it well enough. Um, Shadow Ball should be the play, right? Um, then you would switch into maybe Yuxi. I don't know, just kind of, just kind of wall me, but that. Mm. Oh, the switching would be Weavile, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Weavile is a switch. Okay, this is a pretty physically defensive as far as the Delphoxes go. Um, this is 228 bold. So, I mean, I guess we see what a knockoff is doing right now. This could be Focus Sash. For as quickly as he went in, it could be Focus Sash. Yeah, he shouldn't be able to take me out. I'm at 168. I guess we just have to see. I'm going to play Fire Blast. There's a knockoff. We can take this, but we have to just... Nope, okay. It was a super roll, but it was... It was a, it was pretty much a 50-50 at that point. Whether or not we took that. I was at 168. Oh no, that was a, that was a very high roll, actually. Oh, I didn't give it adamant. Oh, that's my, that's my own fault. That's completely my own fault. 
Either way, okay, so we see that it's life orb, right? I think you all this thing right now. Um, I'm, I'm not even gonna waste any time. I'm gonna make you all, I'm gonna curse up. Now that the Nita Queen is gone, we can try and start to do some things because uh, his, his team in general, I wish I'd taken a second to look at his team, but his team in general was pretty um, physically offensive. So as long as we can, uh, uh, now that the Nita Queen is gone, so as long as we can take some defensive hits with, the, with by cursing up, then I think we can uh, start to do some things right now. But it's just going to be a matter of actually doing them and hopefully not getting paralyzed because I feel like I'm about to get thunder waved. Yeah, we get thunder waves. We avoid the thunder wave. We avoid the thunder wave. That could be pretty huge. But now I'm gonna. So we're we're up two curses, right? And I don't really know what that means yet, but I guess we're gonna see. So my attack and my defense are raised. So let's throw in Clef Key. Lefki should go down to an Earthquake. Oh, yeah. We don't have knockoff on this thing, right? So there's the Thunder Wave. We finally get Thunder Waved, and it's going to be super... Oh, it's going to be awful if we get Thunder Waved as much as my Tauros has been. But hopefully my Tauros has gotten all those full pairs out of the way. And we can start to... Um take some lives right now we are a plus two plus two Venusaur out comes Decidueye we can't really touch this thing but I'm kind of just hoping that we that this thing can't touch us either power whip should still be doing a good amount I'm gonna test out how much it does right now, and also Sora's Dance, yikes. Okay, he is trying to take out my life right now. There's the Power Whip. Oh, that does a lot more than I would have expected. That does a lot more than I would have expected. So, as long as I don't get fully paired, I think we should be good for now. Brave Bird. Come on, we can take this, right? No, we can't. Mm. Oh, man. Now, please don't get fully paired. And, and hit it. And hit it. Power Whip. Okay. Alright, so, realistically, we needed to get rid of the Decidueye. That's going to free up my Greninja a, a whole lot now. So... Not the way that I wanted to do it, but if I, man, I should have expected Brave Bird. I should have synthesis up. I guess it wouldn't have mattered because he was doing way, he was doing more than enough. I'd have to um, check back and see exactly how much he did. He probably did enough where he takes me out even through synthesis, but even then um, with the recoil and with the life orb, it would have been a double down anyway. So he's going to revenge me with something right now. And I guess it really doesn't um, end up mattering too, too much. So I'm not going to beat myself too bad, but um, out comes the Weavile. I don't really think that it's worth over predicting anything. I'm just going to attempt. All right. If he had missed that one and I got a chance to synthesis up, that would have been incredible. We live. Oh my God. Synthesis, please, please don't get par paralyzed. That hurt. Oh man, I have to admit that hurt. Okay. He could miss. He could miss. No, he goes for knockoff first. God. Oh, that one hurt. 
That one really did sting. Okay. Let's see what we're dealing with with Greninja, right? Because Greninja has Surf up against this Weavile. And it's an all-out attack, alright? So we don't have to worry about any bulk, I don't think. We're still doing, like, 50%. Oh, wait. Scarfed U-Turn is still doing, like, 80%. Scarfed U-Turn threatens a KO right now, because he has- because he's got three turns of... He's had three turns of... Um... He's had three turns of Life Orb recoil, so... This should do minimum 67% unless he's investing any bulk, but... We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. This is going to threaten a KO. He could live on, like, a few percent, but he could have Ice Shard. Totally possible, but we'll, we'll have to see. Oh, man, this is a wild battle. This is a wild battle. So, I think he still has the Uxi in the back and the Infernape. So... Greninja can 1v1 the Infernape. I have to this I have to be super careful with this um Greninja, but I also have to deal with the Yuxi. So I'm gonna kinda hope that uh that Meloetta can do some things here if I can Relic Song up. I think maybe he's like calking like Spec Shuriken or something, I don't even know. That would be hilarious to me if he was. Um, withdraws the Weavile. In comes Yuxi. Interesting. Interesting. We still get a U-turn off. Doing an okay amount. I really want to try and just get damage off with my Tauros. Hmm. I think Tauros is the play. Right, because it could it could get Stealth Rocks up, which is which is of course not great, but I don't see it doing too too much to me. I think the Tauros Yeah, I think the Tauros still threatens it out enough where we can do some damage. All we need to do is just take a hit. This could have been a mistake because at this range, and I'd be able to take it. This is actually negative special defense nature. It's, it's not in nature. I think I said that before. But um, I had to do that so that um, we can rock out with Fire Blast and Ice Beam. Goes for the sub. Okay. Now he's playing for the full paras. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. So presumably sub Stealth Rock, right? Unless you have Calm Mind, which would be really not great. This goes for the Psychic. How are we taking that? We don't take that at all. Okay, but does that put it in range of other things, right? So, Yuxi. Dark Pulse is theoretically doing a whole lot. Dark Pulse is theoretically doing a whole lot. What about... What about the Meloetta in this situation? Meloetta knockoff is not doing as much as the Dark Pulse. I think that really hurt me. I think I should have gone straight into the Meloetta. Hmm. Oh, I'm in the wrong Meloetta form. Yeah, knockoff does a lot. I'm gonna attempt it. He could sub on the Relic Song, but it's a sound-based move. So, I mean, I guess I don't mind transforming twice. We move first. Get this Relic Song off. 
does enough. Does enough where... Oh no, now my stats are different. Signal beam straight up. But we're pirouette form, baby. Okay. Now we just knock off. Okay. Man, this is a wild battle. After all those full paras. Dude, that was like five full paras, I think. What's that? Oh, man. Why can't I remember? Not Chopple. What is it? Culver. God damn it. I, I was trying to remember that so bad. I was trying to pretend like I was good for a second. Jesus Christ. You know what? Okay, it's not. It's it's fine. We're, it's fine. We're out here. Revealed Life Orb. Infernape can come in. Scarfed as heck. And... I think the Weavile wins this for him. No, Weavile comes in right now. Why? I outspeed this naturally. He could Ice Shard me, right? What in the heck is, uh... How much is a, how much is a Ice Shard doing to me? Ice Shard. And I'm gonna make it adamant this time. No, it shouldn't do- it shouldn't take me out. And I outspeed this thing. I outspeed this thing. Can- the only question is, can I go for frustration? I can. I don't understand. Why would you not go into Infernape? Unless the Infernape isn't Scarfed. If the Infernape is not Scarfed, then... We're in an amazing position. I'm really scared. If I'm not, if I'm not, uh, if I'm not like min happiness, then I'm super scared. He could be setting me up for a mock punch. I'm gonna frustration here. I'm gonna hope that I'm min happiness. Please tell me I'm min happiness. Okay. Okay. That's a huge relief. Maybe he was trying to get me to close. Maybe he was trying to bait the close combat so he can mock punch me. That's super likely. Mock Punch. <sighs> Mock Punch might win him the game, actually. Mock Punch might actually win him the game right now. Vacuum Wave. Okay. Can we take it? We take it! Close combat, this should be an Oko. This should be an Oko. Yes! All right. Wow, that was an insane battle. That was an insane battle. After all of those full paras, so much going against me. Bro, GG to Leo. That was insane. But man, that was a lot of fun. Once again, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. I'll be once again out.